my name is Dwayne Ferguson, and I am a professional comic book artist. The great folks at Anska have asked me to create a series of how to make comic book stuff for Corona. Now, this is an example of my comic book, Black Zero, Mercenary Ant. And this is, of course, in the simulator, the Corona simulator. This comic book is going to be on the App Store shortly. And here are some covers from some of my earlier comics. Here's Falcon Shadow. And here is Hamster Vice. These came out in the 80s. So I've been doing comic books now for a billion and a half years. My website is diehardstudio.com. And if you want to check out some of my other artwork, please feel free to drop by. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see here, I have some word balloons here. And I'm going to show you how to create these using Illustrator. Now, if you have any vector application, you should be able to follow along just fine. And for those of you who are not working with Adobe Illustrator CS5, don't worry, I got your back. I'm going to show you how to do it in the older way as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need for a word balloon is a bubble. So we can use this tool here in our toolbox. We can use the rectangle tool or any of these other shapes. The rectangle tool is really good when you have narration. So you can say, it was a dark and stormy night. So we don't really have to do much with this. But it can also be used for when people are communicating by cell phone or walkie talkie and you have those little jaggedy lightning bolt lines. So let's go ahead and do that first. I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see exactly what's going on. The pen tool is what we're going to use here. And we're going to create the tail, which is the little part that sticks down from our balloon. I like to draw this part separately from the balloon because it gives me flexibility. I can put it here or wherever I want to. So let's go ahead and click down here and you add it a point. I'll click and add another point. I'll click and I'll just keep doing that to create a shape. One of the things about Illustrator is don't worry about getting things right the first time because we can take this white arrow called the direct selection tool and we can click on those points once we're done and we can tweak them and make them all pretty like. To join these shapes together, I'm going to grab my black arrow, which is called the selection tool, and I'm going to click and move this shape where I want it to go. I can scale it if I need to by grabbing a handle. I can put my mouse along the corners here and I can rotate the shape if I want to. And if my character happens to be in this direction, I can take this whole shape, grab a side handle, click on the handle like so, and move it over. And now it's going to be facing the right way. With the same tool selected, I'll click on the outside to drag select both of these. And I'm going to go to my window menu. If you don't see this Pathfinder panel, I'll just tear that off. So we're going to go to Window, Pathfinder, because the very first icon here is called Unite. When we click on it, it combines these two shapes. And now, my friends, you have your first word balloon. Time to do your dance, do your dance, do your funky dance. Now I can resize this if I want to by grabbing the handle, and I have my first balloon. We'll put him over there. Now let's talk about how to use the tool in Illustrator CS5 called the Shape Builder tool. And we'll create a different type of balloon. So I'm going to go to an ellipse tool to create a more traditional shape. And I'm going to grab the pen tool again, and I'm going to click. But this time, instead of just clicking, I'm going to click down here and hold my mouse down and drag. This gives me a curve. Now I'm going to let go of the mouse and click on the, that last point again. Then I'm going to move my mouse up here, click, and drag. Click on that last point, click, and now we have a closed shape. Grab your selection tool, and move this guy over where he belongs, scale it down if you need to. Don't forget, you can always change the direction of this if you need to, like so. If the character is this way up here, simply move this up here, grab the bottom handle, flip it, and then you can have your character talking from up here. So it's up to you what you want to do with that. That's why I suggest drawing the tail separately. It gives you the ability to have a lot of flexibility. As a matter of fact, we can copy this shape and paste it, put that over there, and we can take this balloon. We can also uh, copy this guy. We can paste it. 
we can put it over here and we can scale it down we can change it entirely and we can have two different types of balloons and this is how you build your balloon library you just make a whole bunch of different ones and you're ready to go so I'm gonna take these two I'm gonna grab the shape builder tool in Illustrator CS5 and I'm gonna hover my mouse around these shapes and you see they're ready to connect so I can click on the first balloon drag right through this piece drag and when I let go kabam they combine to make a shape so my friends that is how you can create word balloons for the awesome comics you're about to create in Corona once again here is an example of what I've done I have a billion balloons here but you know comic books are a work of art and you have to take your time and create something epic so be sure to check out Black Zero be sure to check out Hamster Vice and Falcon Shadow and all the cool comic books that I'll be working on and I look forward to reading the comic books that you're going to be working on and don't forget I'll be doing more in this series take care